Let's say I wanted to solve the inequality, the modulus of x plus 3 over x plus 2 is greater than or equal to 1. And we have all the skills in order to do this now. We know how to look and sketch uh, the left-hand side, uh, how to solve it if it was an equation, uh, to find the points of intersection. And then we'll be asking, where is this graph above or equal to 1? So that's the process that we'll go through. So. Let's sketch, uh, ignoring the modular signs first. So uh, there's going to be a problem when x is equal to minus 2. So there's a vertical asymptote there. Now, um, when um, x is 0, we've got 3 halves. So it's crossing through the y-axis at 3 halves. When y is 0, x would have to be minus 3. That's when the numerator is 0. So x equals minus 3 is where it's crossing the x-axis. And last but not least, a horizontal asymptote exists. If we divide through by x, top and bottom, then it's clear that when x becomes very large, either in the positive or negative direction, these two fractions will tend to 0, and we will get 1 over 1. So y equals 1 is a horizontal asymptote. So the curve must come down through that point and then tend to y equals 1 that way. And the other part of the curve is going to be coming up through minus 3 and then tending towards y equals 1 that way. Now, once we've introduced the modulus, the bottom part, the bit that's below the x-axis, will get reflected up. Okay, So this part of the graph here will get reflected up like that. So this is what the curve would look like. So the question then becomes, where is the graph above or equal to 1? Now we know it's above it uh, when x is greater than minus 2. But we need to work out this point here, where the graph is hitting 1. OK, so... I need to put, so that's the negative part of the graph, OK? So that's the negative part of the graph, so minus x plus 3 over x plus 2 is equal to 1. I need to solve that equation. So uh, multiply through by minus 1 first. Then multiply it by the x plus 2. Add the x to both sides, subtract 3 from both sides, and then divide through by 2. So this point here must be minus 5 halves. OK? So that means in solution to this inequality, we must be looking at the graph between minus 5 halves and minus 2. So minus 5 halves is less than or equal to x is less than minus 2. That's got to be a strict inequality because we can't have equals to minus 2. So there's that region, or when x is greater than minus 2. So there are two distinct regions uh, because we must ex exclude the x equals minus 2.